What's up? My name is Technova here from Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So with the release of Windows 11 comes a couple of issues that you could be experiencing. If you just updated and your Realtek high definition audio is having issues, how do we fix it? Well, there's a couple of steps. The first one is reinstalling the existing driver that's on our computer. To do so, hit start and type in device to open up device manager. Then when device manager opens up, head across to the sound, video and game controllers tab, then expand it. We'll be looking for Realtek high definition audio. Right click this and then click update driver. Inside of here, click browse my computer for drivers and then let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. After doing so, you may see something like this. If you don't, don't worry, we'll be going through what to do in the next step. What you need to do is make sure that show compatible hardware is ticked and then choose high definition audio device. Then click next, then yes. Upon doing so, the Realtek high definition audio driver will be reinstalled and hopefully things should be working properly. Now, all you have to do is restart your computer and you should see that this is fixed. However, if it's not, you can come back here, right click, update driver once again, browse, pick from available, make sure this is checked and then choose Realtek high definition audio once again. It'll rename it a second time back to Realtek. And then after this is done, a simple restart of your computer once again should have everything back to working state. As you can see, it went from Realtek to just high definition audio device, and now it's back to Realtek high definition audio. Now, assuming that things aren't working properly, what can we do here? The best thing to do is to navigate across to the correct website and download the correct Realtek audio drivers. In order to do this, if you have a laptop, you'll need to Google for the manufacturer of the laptop, followed by the model name. Otherwise, if you have a full-size desktop, you'll need to look at the motherboard inside of it, see what it is, and Google for that. If you do have a desktop computer and you don't feel like opening it up, you can hold Start, press R, type in CMD, and hit Enter to bring up this window here. Inside of this, type in WMIC space baseboard, get, and hit Enter. Upon doing so, you'll see the model name of your motherboard somewhere in here. I'm using a virtual machine, so this says Hyper-V, but for you it may say MSI B580 or something, if it's an MSI motherboard, etc. That's the one we'll be Googling for and downloading the drivers for. I'll give you an example here. My laptop is a Lenovo Legion Y520. So I'll search for it and add, say, drivers to the end of it. I'll select the correct link here, and then I should be on some kind of a driver and software page. In here, I'll select audio if you see different tabs and it'll be downloading the Realtek audio driver here. Now, of course, your website will almost absolutely be different to mine. If it's MSI or anything like that, it'll be on the motherboard's website. And if it's a laptop, it'll be on the laptop creator's website. Just make sure you have the correct model number of the laptop or if it's a desktop, the correct motherboard model. Otherwise, things won't install so smoothly and you may end up with no audio at all if you installed the wrong drivers. But anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno Bay here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!